2015, over 395 kids have gone missing in Indonesia. And last year alone, there have been 329 cases of child trafficking. Stripping and getting paid. Body tipping and getting laid. 93 kids were discovered to have ended up as child prostitutes. And 80 were identified victims of sexual violence. One girl decided to do something about it. Her name is Faye. And this is MTV Generation Change. How did this all begin? I grew up in a family that really emphasized giving back. And the game changer was when Marapi, the volcano erupted. There was an orphanage called Griacasi Victory. They had to run away from their home. I raised 96 million wow. for the kids to have a new study room in their new home. I was in fifth or sixth grade and school project. I looked at a list and I saw the word traffic. I went home and I searched it up. With this realization also came a sense of disbelief that I can't believe this happens in my own country. So I kind of tried to put that into action. We don't never fall out of People ask, aren't you scared? You know, because... Exactly, yeah. aren't you difficult? Aren't you scared? People we work against, if you mm -hmm. say they're, you know, they're referred to as mafia, especially since human trafficking in the areas that we work with are very systematic. I was born with so much privilege and I have not just the ability, but the privilege to do something. It seems like the girls have like a protector with them. <laughs> <laughs> and at such a young age. I think the reason why I started Mafia is because I saw a need. A lot of other NGOs, they kind of just came in and they were doing really good work, but I think when there's when there's a generation gap, it yeah. doesn't work as well. Okay. That's really what we work hard of, of being more cheerful and exciting. We don't sugarcoat what happens, yeah. but we do make sure that people talk about it and that we're approachable in talking about it. The first time I met a victim of human trafficking, they had just rescued this girl who had been married when she was 14. And then she got trafficked when she was 15. And she was so composed and calm, and she was completely open to talking to me. And she told me that after what she'd been through, she didn't think she feared anything anymore. You know, she has an impact on me until now. I think because of her as well that we focus so much on prevention. Everything we do here at the shelter focuses on healing, whether it's classes, activities, outings, programs. It's a lot of rehabilitation from what they've faced before. One of the key things that we work at Rumafe is expression. We all have trouble like expressing ourselves yeah. and expressing our emotions. And I think doing that through art, it does show a lot. Painting, this is more about healing than anything yeah. else. I think they really do enjoy it. Art sometimes is such a form of therapy. It really is. Right. Yeah. It's actually nice if they get to do things like with their hands. Yeah. Right. And I think it's it's nice that they don't they're not locked in um, the classroom for eight hours. This is more hands-on learning because we do really believe that, especially for our kids, um, learning real life skills are really really important. A lot of kids your age want to do something but then as you said sometimes we cry sometimes we feel bad about it but then you decided to do something about it you know people are always like aren't you too young to do this and yes i am too young you know i shouldn't be doing this but there is a need that i could fulfill you know i've had moments i just feel like crap if i can't save all of them like is it really worth it you know and it's really it's something i do struggle with but you know i see them and i think one life always matters you know so. Our generation is uniquely positioned to change the world and make a difference. With the internet, there is so much more we can learn and so much more we can do. It's up to us to make use of the endless possibilities. The world isn't waiting for us to get ready. We need to go out and understand the world, learn proactively and think independently. Then we need to manifest our thoughts and our feelings into action. Because in this day and age, there is no excuse. I am Faisi Manjunta, and this is MTV Generation Change.